Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Piach, an engineer on the Juju as a Service or Jazz team at Canonical. I wanted to take a few minutes today to show you how easy it is to deploy a production environment of Kubernetes with Jazz. Here I am at jujucharms.com where I'm going to deploy the Canonical distribution of Kubernetes, which is a scalable 11 node Kubernetes cluster using the latest upstream version. The core bundle here includes a Kubernetes cluster with one master and three worker nodes. TLS uh, is used for communication between nodes for security. Flannel is used for networking, a load balancer for a highly available Kubernetes master. Uh, Easy RSA is installed to be a certificate authority serving self-signed certs to the cluster units. And a three node cluster of etcd is used as a distributed key value store for reliability. Now I'm gonna add this to the model and then add to it the AWS integrator. The AWS integrator allows us to grant select permissions to instances of applications related to it, which enable integration with AWS specific features such as ELB, EBS, etc. I'm going to relate the AWS integrator to the Kubernetes master and workers, then supply it with the access and secret keys it needs to function. In the next version of Juju, 2.4.1, a new command trust will be available, so you will not need to manually copy these values. Now I'm going to head and deploy this model to AWS. Now, after logging into Jazz, I'm going to name my model EasyProdKates. Uh, select AWS from the list of public cloud providers currently integrated with Jazz, and then select the cloud credentials I want to use for this model. I'm going to import my SSH keys from GitHub so that I can easily SSH into the machines after they have been deployed. So you can see here that we're going to be spinning up 11 total machines from AWS, and if you want to see the full list of changes, you can expand this model changes dropdown. After clicking deploy, Jazz will go ahead and request machines from AWS and start installing all of the applications and creating relationships between them as we had outlined when building our model. While it's doing that, I'm going to switch to the machine view to show you the status and details of the machines being requested from AWS. Now to the generic status view. This view shows a live updating basic overview of the entire model status. You can see the applications, units, machines, and relations here. This process takes about 20 minutes, so I'm going to fast forward while on the status page uh, to show it in action. While this is going on, you'll notice the status messages changing. Uh, units are going to go in and out of block states while it waits on other applications to provide it with data so that it can continue and then carrying on again. Now that it's nearly complete, let's switch back to the machine view and you can see that all of the machines are up, all of the hardware details for those machines, and switching back to the overview, you can see that the icons have turned from blue to yellow and now the ones which are black are ready to go. Now that everything is reporting ready to go, I'm going to quickly switch to the terminal to show you that we have a fully operational production Kubernetes cluster. First thing I'm going to do is switch to my easy production Kubernetes model on Jazz, as I have a number of different running models. I'm going to use SCP to pull down the Kubernetes configuration files and then install the kubectl snap. Now if I run the cluster info, you can see that it is all up and running. I hope you enjoyed this little demo of easily deploying a scalable 11 node cluster of Kubernetes using Juju as a service and the upstream version of Kubernetes distributed by Canonical. If you have any questions, we can be reached at discourse.jujucharms.com or if you'd like to chat live, hash juju on irc.freenode.net. Have a great day.